hey guys welcome to this python course in this video we are going to see about uh, the tuples in python as yes, tuples is one of the data types uh, that is a built-in data types among four so let me discuss first on tuples all right so yes on an introduction with uh, the tuples is tuples or a, um, tuples is a data type that is used to hold or uh, define a group of data or of same or different uh, you know types like maybe the integer or float or strings or so whatever it may be so it, it's it's it is used to hold the group of uh, data and it is immutable all right so we cannot change whatever we declared it will it is cannot be changed uh, on the later use all right and also it is a ordered one so let me quickly start with the syntax with tuples for that i'll just write um, yeah sports let me create a stupid variable sports i'm giving sorry i'm giving the data like the data or uh, yeah, let me create some sport let's start with cricket then hockey then football finally table tennis all right so these are all the sports i have created under tuple so let let me let me check first what exactly the data type is so let me give print sports so that it will print the data whatever we have declared and let me retrieve the type of the sport that is the variable tuple all right that we'll see how the data type is coming from this yeah so let me run this oh an expected uf while passing so there is an error let we see yes here i have given two uh you know uh, parentheses and let me close one yes now it will be fine yeah so the in the what other sports has been even is cricket hockey football and table tennis and here we have the data app called tuple all right so this is a very simple syntax and you have to understand the difference between tuples as well as strings see uh, if i see for example if i just hold only one it's not a group of data it's a only one data and let me give sport so again I'll try to print the same yeah so here uh, as I mentioned uh, tuples is a group of data but uh, if we uh, use the same kind of syntax but we have only one data let's see what the data type is and how it will be yeah so it is string all right so here we have only one that is there is no comma has has been used in this bracket that is in the parenthesis so it is called as a string say for example if I, again if i try to give the same let me give one comma but after that i have not given anything let me see see tuple so whenever you you have given the comma here then the the system with the python will understand that yes it is a tuple all right so this is the basic syntax let me have some other uh, explanation with tuple yeah so i let me create uh, say for example details so this is uh, over this this is oh, fine uh, then let, now let's we have uh, details so it's another uh, snippet here i, I have given uh, say for example Renault yeah Renault let me give Renault and let me give the number like 007 then let me give auto module auto mode all right so I have given these details and uh, in this what I'm going to uh, do is the uh, tuple that is packing and unpacking all right so here i have given these data see here uh, we have a different data this is an integer 
and uh, here we have the strings so here I am packing these data under the data type details so this is called packing let me give packing packing that is you can you can can consider the tuple packing all right so tuple packing and uh, let me unpack for unpack what we'll do is we have we can give like um, say or Reynolds is a company so I'm giving company uh, then uh, the not not seven is uh, yes let me give employ uh, employer ID all right then uh, one more is it's what what kind of profile it is it's automotive auto motive so I'll give the profile so here I'll unwrap this all right so I just comment here for our understanding unpacking so now what I'll do is let me print and see what we'll get all right we if we if we if we just uh, give the company let me give what exactly the company is company let me run it yeah yeah so here reading zeros in the decimal integer letters are not permitted use okay so here it is this is not being used uh, because for the octal uh, format we can go for this so let me let me use this with So here for printing the company we got Renault. Alright, so similarly we can also print other data. So whatever we have like employee ID EMP ID, then we have profile. Oh yes, definitely we'll get. So this is this is the usage of uh, tuple packing and see we got this usage of tuple packing and unpacking so this is uh, one thing then is yes, we can also have uh, the other way of usage in tuple that is um, yes of course this is a basic syntax let me have another snippet with uh, other usage all right so by using for loop so for this uh, let me create um, uh, no counter okay so i'll just give the variable as counter and here i'll give uh, like one two three four five six all right then let me uh, give the initial initialization of the count value so you should not confuse with counter on count so both are different count i am giving zero all right so let me start count with zero then we can use the for loop for i in tuple uh, sorry we are we have we are using this one right so counter so we have to use the same counter then print counter counter <coughs> we can use the escape sequence it's a non graphic uh, sequence to print the integer and it denotes it is a integer in this place we'll get the integer that is the <coughs> usage of uh, percentage d then let me give count how to use the naming properly count i all right so then here we can give the condition count is equal to count plus one all right so this is a simple for loop i use the I have given the data uh, in the tuple so let me increment and let's see how it's running yeah okay so here we got the error again it is the traceback uh, count is not defined so that's what I said we have to use the as the Python is a case sensitive as yes, we have to use the capital okay yeah see counter Percentage D I should be 
the number but uh, here we we got it is a percentage directly the reason is yes here we missed the um, quotation yeah now I think it will be open see from here it's open uh, here it is closing so this ends the loop and here it's not required all right so we can just close with this yeah see how this uh, quotation matters in this so in previous videos we have seen about the quotation for the sprinting but here see this kind of um, this kind of uh, logics also has more um, you know rely with the quotation so you have to use it properly okay again here we have uh, the error is string object is not callable so here we have the string object that is it can it is telling it's not able to call it because here we have missed the percentage yes now it would should uh, it should run properly again so let me check it from the beginning print then here the counter fine uh, then percentage d is equal to percentage d okay then count i yeah, since it's okay yeah so previously there was uh, the so the escape sequence here we have mentioned so that is what the error is see now it's perfect so counter zero uh, it starts with counter zero counter one two three up to five and here we have the any we have start with one two three you're confused with zeros and one yes let me start with one the initialization will be one and yeah it's perfect so this is also the another way so this is the way that we can use uh, the tuples also one more method but uh, I, I don't recommend to use this method while uh, going for the tuples or let's say for example see instead of uh, see instead of well, when using integers instead of uh, you are using these brackets if I remove this see what will happen see still we are getting output so even this is this this is also even though it's there is no bracket so it is uh, tuple uh, let me confirm uh, let me print the type of uh, counter all right so let me retrieve this data type um, invalid syntax because count oh sorry print yeah one I have missed the bracket okay so see it's a tuple still it is a tuple there is no bracket so this is you have to understand for uh, if it is a tuple if there is uh, if, if there is no brackets is it considered as a tuple yes it is see here that's what we got if there is a group of data yes it will be a tuple but it is always uh, you know recommended and advisable to use the bracket so that uh, it's it's it looks you know professional that's it so that's all with this video and the next video will have the uh, the mutable one that is built in data we have so we'll we'll, uh, we'll start with the next video on the uh, list so until then is yes, bye take care we'll get back to you with the list